my friends and welcome back to the bench. Today we're going to be testing these all new Rust-Oleum spray cans with the uh, choice of spray patterns. And uh, but before we get started with the test, let's go ahead and announce the winner. I haven't heard back from them yet. I sent them uh, a note and a comment that they were the winner. All right, this is who was chosen, Glyphic. 1974 if that's your birth year then uh, I'm still older than you but uh, yeah uh, uh, contact me if you're watching this um, just send me an email which is below the description and uh, I'll get your particulars we'll verify it's you and then uh, we'll get these out to you these uh, PIT nippers uh, really good did well on my test and uh, don't fear if you didn't win we got more to give away how's this a Tamiya nippers these Wise Pros, these were, yeah, these were 30 bucks. These were the same price as the Tamiya's. And uh, these are actually pretty good also. Come with a case, a little container to keep your oil in. And the Tamiya ones, uh, uh, well, they're Tamiya, good quality. So, um, once again, why not? We'll give away these. This time I'll pick two people. Uh, leave a comment below. That's how I can pick the winner. And uh, give us a thumbs up on the video. That helps uh, with the channel greatly. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so uh, you know when you're when I'm announcing you, you'll see my videos are up and uh, that way you'll know you have a chance of winning. Anyway, go ahead and leave a comment below. I'll pick two people this time and never fear if you don't win this, even more giveaways are coming. I got more airbrushes, I got more air compressors, all kinds of giveaways coming up as we march slowly to the uh, 100,000 subscriber count. But for now, let's get these out of the way. And we're going to go over these spray cans. Now, I stopped using these. I have some in the house. I'll use some grays and whatnot. I use a lot outside, though. Uh, a couple of lamp posts. I had to uh, paint matte black or semi-gloss black. It's good for that because this stuff is uh, you know, anti-rusting and really comes in handy for that. It's a heavy-duty paint. Now, I do, uh, I do decant it. I will... Uh, you know, blast some in a cup, you know, add a splash of lacquer thinner to them, and then uh, I'll put them in the airbrush. They're fine for that. I haven't had any troubles as far as that goes. But when I walked through the store the other day, I said, what is this? And you've seen the thumbnail of the whole row of them. There's a lot of them that have this now. They might even convert a lot of them to this. And only my local Home Depot had them. I went to my local Lowe's, which is even closer to my home. They didn't have them yet. So I'm guessing uh, Home Depot got them first. And uh, even though Rust-Oleum is in the hobby brand with testers, let me show you how testers used to look on the back of the can. This one's still sealed. This is a rare one, right? Check this out. No, uh-uh, just says testers, 2015. Now, we look on the back. Ah, it says Rust-Oleum, 2017. And I guess uh, right around between there and there is when the conversion took place. So they now own testers. Personally, they destroyed them. They got rid of all the Model Master stuff. Uh, anything besides paint, anything testers is gone. Airbrushing, anything to do with anything. It's, it's, it's all gone. If they, they kept uh, some of the Model Master uh, tools, I think. And other than that, it's just a few tester things here and there. Knife blades and whatnot. Here's the Extreme Lacquer. Also Rust-Oleum 2017. So, anyway, that's, uh, that's the brand. So you would think because they're tied to a hobby brand like Tessa's, they'd be great. But uh, personally, I'm not, I'm not crazy about the brand. But we are going to test these out because I like testing out anything new, unique, related to uh, spray painting and any, any of these paints. And here we go. I bought just three to try. This blue, Maui blue, beautiful color. Uh, coastal gray, I figured I could use it as a primer. Who knows? and a clear gloss. They all have the same nozzle. Now it's a five in one. And here you are. One is lock. Well, the first one is lock, and then we're going to turn to, here's what we do. One, two, three, four, five, back to lock. And there's the front, and here is one, two, three, and then these two are four and five, and I'll show you what those are right now. All right, number one is high output. I imagine that's the way it's always been because this stuff just pours out their regular cans. So I'm guessing that's the standard. 
and then to a standard, all right? I don't know what standard is. Is it their standard? I think high output is going to be theirs because, boy, the stuff, if it comes out even higher than their normal can did, this is a little silly. <laughs> but I'm going to guess the high output is like their regular one. Standard, this is probably as far as this 5 goes. Low output, this is what I'm interested in. Maybe it dials it down to this kind of low output because this isn't as heavy as these. The tester's cans are quite, quite good. And then it goes to a vertical fan and a horizontal fan. So that's pretty cool if you got to go up and down or side. And that's what these are that don't have any uh, distinguishing face on it. You can see right there. It's I'll pull her up. Hold on. There, vertical and horizontal. Let me see. There you go. There you go. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, we're going to see how this works. And uh, I think we're just going to try one. I'll show the results of these dry. It doesn't mean much because... We're not comparing the whole lineup. I just bought these three to see how, how they would work. And I would be more interested in the clear. Because um, I would use the clear more often than, than any of these other ones. So I'm hoping the clear, which I'm going to leave... I'm Personally, I'm going to leave these on the low output. But for the test, we're going to try all five. So I guess we'll use this blue. This will show up nice on camera. And uh, we'll, I'll get a nice piece of white sheet of, of cardboard. And then we'll see how big these patterns go. And uh, that'll be the test. And then I'll put some on a few spoons, and we'll look at the results. And uh, once an enamel dries, an enamel is as tough as anything out there. It's the good point about enamels. The bad point is it takes a long time for them to dry. My uh, Mecca Empire paints are enamels, but they're an acrylic hybrid enamel, and they dry much faster. But they retain the durability, which is, uh, which is important to a lot of uh, projects. Um, but anyway, I'll be off the camera. We'll... Shake this baby up, and then uh, we'll head over to the booth, and uh, we'll see how they go. Now, stay tuned to the end of the video because I got a sneak peek of my new paint from my Mecha Empire line. It's my polished alloy. I'll show a sneak peek of what it looks like, but we'll do the video probably over the weekend when the when they come in stock and you guys can purchase them. That's coming up too, and a couple other things. I'm going to show you some products that just came in. Actually, some came in today, and uh, we'll lay out what's coming up soon. And, uh, but for now, let me shake up one of these cans. We'll go with the blue, I guess, for the test. We'll head over to the Pace Spray Booth. And um, let's check these five adjustable nozzles out. All right, guys, here we are at the booth. I'm not quite sure how well this is going to work out, but I took a big piece of cardboard. I got a few of these, so maybe we'll have to flip them over. And uh, we'll see. We just want to see the patterns, and then we're going to spray a spoon for all of them and see uh, the results, how they dry. But uh, I'm going to go low to medium to the high is what I'm going to do. Then we'll try the vertical and horizontal. We'll probably have to flip this over at some point for most of these. But let's go ahead and three, which is low output. I shook it up off camera, so I'm going to have to keep doing that on. But let's see what this pattern looks like. Oh, yeah, you know what? That is better than their usual. It's usually way, way more than that. All right? Now... I recommend a little dab of acetone on a paper towel here. We'll clean it off, keep that nozzle clean. Let's go up to the next one, which is medium, or they say standard. All right, let's see what we get on that. Let's see what the difference is. Oh, yeah, bi I, big difference already. Look at that. And I'm pretty far. I'm, I'm, I'm a foot away, man. I'm a foot away from this. So that is a much <laughs> heavier uh, concentration of paint there coming out. Boy, oh, boy. All right, let's wipe that off. All right, we're going to go to the top one here, which is their heavy. Oh, boy. Let's go ahead and flip this around. I'm going to pause the camera because it's going to come towards the camera here. Let me pause that and flip it over. All right, I flipped her over. We're at number one, which is high output. Oh, boy. You can see the UPC code here on the paper, but that's all we need is just to see how this looks. And here is high. We'll go again a foot out. Yeah, it's, it's a little more than the last one. Yeah, but not much. Not much of a difference between the standard, like I said, and the high output. Um, but, boy, you are going to cover... I, I sprayed some lawn furniture with this recently, and this brand anyway, and it covers pretty quick. It's, it's, it's what you need for that kind of work. As far as the hobby working, uh, I personally, if you're going to use it, which it's not horrendous, uh, it has its uses, you, at least finally we have a low output instead of decanting it and airbrushing it, you know. But let's go ahead... And go back to low output. 
All right, I'm gonna get this out of the way. I'm not gonna have to pause it, I don't think. Hold on, guys. There we go. All right. Sorry, I'm a little out of camera shot here. Look at the line, now I gotta change my paper here. Let's go ahead and uh, try the low output on a spoon. All right, here we go. Yeah, it, it's much more control. It's close to uh, a tester's can, spray can. Look how nice that, that's a beautiful color. So uh, we'll let this dry and we'll check this out at the booth. But let's go ahead, we got two more to go on this, the vertical and horizontal. Let me get another piece of paper and we'll test that out. Magically, we are back. Okay, let's go, vertical and horizontal. All right, there we go. What is four? Four is the vertical, so let's see what we get. Yeah, that's oh, that's awesome. That would that now this is what I would use for my the lawn furniture. This is a great great addition to this for its common use, which is lawn furniture and that kind of thing, outdoor projects. Look how quickly we covered that. That's much better, personally, than the high output of the the round, the cone shape. Boy, what a difference. Uh, as far as covering furniture goes. Keep these clean, as I said. So, uh, all right, let's try the other one. Let's flip this around. Let me pause the camera so I don't hit it again. All right, guys, I flipped it. Sorry if it's blocking some of the light. All right, we're going to go to the last one, which is five, horizontal. Now, we just went across this way. Of course, this is going to be up and down. Not sure if we really need both, but it depends on the project, I guess. Let's see what we get. It should be the same thing except going the other way. Yeah, it is. I'll tell you, though, this saves a lot of work if you're doing garden work. Um, a lot of, lot of time. It really covers a wide area. And it's not just uh, the cone where it's more misting out. It's really concentrated. So uh, let me wipe off this nozzle here. All right. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray on camera here. The other two, we'll take a peek on the spoon. We'll look at the, the clear and the gray, and then we'll wrap this up back at the bench. All right, let's take a peek at Coastal Gray. We're going to leave everything on three, which is their uh, low output. And low output is still heavy, but boy, you get the job done quick. Look at that. Wow. All right, we'll check that out when it's dry. Let me head over and uh, grab the clear and get a color. We'll put some clear over a color here. All right, for the clear, let's go ahead and clear coat this. This is Splash Paints Eva Paint Line, which I tested on different bases for my Patreon member. He uh, actually sent me the paint to try for him. He wanted to see what it looked like over all the different primers, and I did it. I sprayed it over like five different, maybe even ten different bases, and uh, I showed him the results. So these are the leftovers for that. So this is over Gloss Black Stino Res. This one was over, let's see. Medium gray, all clad. See the difference in the colors? But anyway, that's the kind of thing I do on my Patreon channel. I test colors personally for each individual. And um, it's been great so far. So please consider joining my Patreon. A little self-promotion there. Here we go. Number three again, which is the low output. This is the clear. We'll put it over this dull piece of Eva Purple. Here we go. There we go. Look at that. You see the dull and the glossy right there. All right. Okay. Let these dry up. I will meet everybody back at the bench. We'll wrap this up, and I'll go over some uh, sneak previews of a few products that are coming up. All right, my friends. So you saw the patterns and how it goes down. So, I mean, that was mostly what the test was about, to check the nozzles out. But to check the actual paint out. There is the blue. I mean, absolutely beautiful color. It laid down beautifully. It's an enamel, so it's it's as tough as nails. Um, yeah, as far as that goes, it's not bad. The only thing I didn't crazy about them is they just go on too heavy. Yeah, for model building, it's tough, so it does help. And it looks like you could probably do a model car now with this, uh, with the proper primer down, uh, misting it out. I personally would still decant it and airbrush it, you know, into the an inner brush, but. This is a video that more than just hobbyists are going to look at. I'm guess, guessing they're going to see Rust-Oleum new nozzles. They want to see uh, what the patterns are. So as far as guys watching this for lawn furniture and all that stuff, yard work, um, 
Uh, it's wonderful. The paint works well for that. Here is the gray. It's a nice semi-gloss gray. This would look great for... Uh, uh, this would be a good primer, actually, if you think about it. More of a surfacer than a primer. And here is the clear, which is tough to go by. I, I sprayed this earlier so I could test its durability. It's not as shiny when it goes over a real flat object, but this one held its gloss really well. This was much duller, but I wanted to see its durability, and, and it, it, it's, I've been beating it up on the can and everything, and it's just it's super durable. So the clear is, is a good alternative. Let me show you the difference. There you go. Before, after. So, yeah. Um, I give it a thumbs up. Not the biggest fan of rust -Oleum, but I give it a thumbs up. They're trying, and they put out a nice product here with the choice of nozzles, which is really good for outdoor work. For indoor work, personally, you've got to go to number three. That's the low mist, and I did get good results. Again, I would do more broad things, um, like the wings on uh, our zero here. You can see that. It's like a nice flat area. I don't know how well it's going to go. You might lose some detail. It's still a heavy paint. I personally would decant it for hobby work, airbrush it, thin it out even more with uh, a lacquer thinner. But that's just me. But overall, I do like the cap. It's a good idea. It's a step in the right direction, particularly the, the vertical. And you could really get a nice piece of uh, yard work done with that, man. If you're doing like I was doing, a, I did a big bench, a big wooden bench that sits out on my porch. And um, it matches the house. It's a blue not this kind of blue, you know, a slate blue. And I, I was, you know, the original can, I mean, it works, but I was out there a long time spraying it, whereas this new pattern, particularly the vertical, the horizontal, covered a nice area. I probably could have cut my time in half should these cans have been out back then, but they're out now, and uh, I do recommend them. They are really good. Uh, anyway, guys, that is the test for these. I want to give you a little bit of a sneak peek of what is coming up. And let me show you what I just got in. All right, it's right behind me. I got in a boatload of these Mr. Sprays. Now, they have Mr. Spray Gundam. Speaking of spray cans, and this is their regular Mr. Spray. It doesn't match. The Gundams actually match the actual Gundam colors. There's not as many as these to choose from as this. There's only like 10, 15 of these total. But for this, there's a lot. I don't think there's 100 that many. But um, as I look around in different stores to try and pick up the lineup, uh, I know there's more and more out there. There's metallic blue. But um, they shake really easy. So it, you, the paint is really thin. I can just tell it's thin. Whereas you, can hear the, you can hear the difference right there. But uh, let's try it on this. Even that's thicker. But, you know, this is Rust-Oleum technically. Listen to this. Right? But anyway, these are coming up. Not only this. Check this out. Yes, Ravel spray cans are finally here in America. Where I am located, check this out. Not the best looking can at all, huh? Well, the colors are on top, I guess. Gelb yellow. I got a bunch of these, not just these few. These came in today. Fiery red. That's supposed to be Ferrari. What we got here? I got a Oh, anthracite. Yeah, here we go. Matte anthracite. The colors I would like. Uh, I don't know what the nozzles look like. I haven't looked at it yet, so we'll do that for the test. Again, you can hear it's much thinner than the other paints. So, uh, yeah, these just came in literally today. A bunch of these started showing up. I got more to go before I do that review. I want to get more in the color lineup. We're going to spray all of these on a spoon. So we're going to look at what each color looks like. Uh, let me show you what else I got in. I'm didn't go, I didn't disappear, guys. I'm still here. Ravel, I did these earlier. This is a, their little enamels in the cans. Look at this. Clear red. Claire, there you go. And clear blue, look at that. So we'll see how those look. I just got in a bunch of Gaia from Robot Kai. You want Gaia paints, grab them now. Robot Kai, if you don't want to wait for my paint test on these. I got a whole bunch of these to test. The NASCAR line. NASCAR sounds like NASCAR. All right. Look at these. I got a bunch of the primers. What's in here? All right. Just trying to see what colors we got here bright silver and look at this I got all the primers surfacers they call them surfacer just like mr. Uh, oh this is their paint this is EX silver highly highly recommended that EX silver paint here's a white primer surfacer so yep yeah, we got a whole bunch 
of Gaia Notes in. That's coming up too. I'm also currently working on the Sun and Seven test, painting a bunch of stuff right now with those. So that's coming up, and this came in today. Check this out. It's a uh, gold powder for the nails, and I saw them done. And uh, look at that. This is the kind of gold I'm trying to achieve. So anytime I have a chance of trying that. Now, these are made for uh, fingernails. But we're going to use them on a model. We're going to spray the block, the block, the black base. Rub it in and see what we get. It even comes with a little applicator, which is pretty cool. So that is coming up. And uh, hopefully the next video will be the release. No one has them yet. Of my polished alloy paint. In a dropper bottle, check that out. I wanted them in a dropper bottle. It was a request I made. I also requested a little ball bearing in there. These are a lacquer. They're not quite chrome. I'm not going to go over it too much now. I'll give you a sneak peek right away. The, the, the drawer on this is it's super durable. does not require a gloss coat. It's, uh, it's a super durable um, paint, so you're not going to have to put a coating on it. That's what this, the purpose of this is, so you don't have to lose anything with putting a coating over it. Anyway, that'll probably be the next video. I just got the packaging done and they're on the way in now. I'll let you know where they're going to be sold. They're not even there yet, so uh, don't start looking until the video goes up. Once the video is up, hopefully this weekend, um, you'll be able to buy them. Unfortunately, there's not going to be a lot of them. I think the initial run is about 70 bottles and I'm having trouble getting reorders already. But that's troubles ahead. Right now, we do have them coming and uh, it's pretty exciting. Anyway, guys, there is the test. Thank you for sticking around. Don't forget, Glyphic1974, contact me. Don't forget, if you want to win another pair of nippers, I'll take two more winners, and I'll randomly pick either of these. Just uh, like the video, leave a comment below, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell. And uh, we're off and running to give away even more of uh, these nippers. Both are out of Japan. Yep, Japan Tools. And obviously, Tamir is out of Japan also. And... Uh, yeah, we'll take it from there, and after that, we got even more giveaways. Airbrushes and uh, compressors. I might even have a spray booth coming up. So exciting times here. You guys are absolutely the best. At the very below of this video, you will see a link to my Patreon. Please consider joining it. It's only 4 bucks a month. We chat back and forth. If you want any questions, I'll personally answer you. If you need something demoed, like I did with these Eva colors from uh, Splash Paint, I'll show you right now before we go what they are. I'll grab two of them. See? Eva medium purple. Splash paints. Eva gray purple. And um, that's what I tested. And um, he requested I test them for him. And I did. So that's what the Patreon is all about. It's advice back and forth. And if you want to see a color sprayed in, on, over certain colors, I'll do that to you, for you too. And I'll post those videos on Patreon just for you. But all the Patreon members get to watch. And uh, anyway, guys. That is the test for today. And uh, being midweek, I will see you over the weekend with the next video. Hopefully, I will have my new Mecha Empire paint polished alloy ready to go. So uh, be on the lookout for that. I can see it's pretty funny. Look at Sonic looking up between the two cans here. <laughs> there he is. And uh, I think Mario is back here somewhere. Where's Mario? There he is. And uh, i got to go work on my new Zelda game, which uh, is quite phenomenal. Anyway, guys, it's not going to go off on a video game tangent. That's another channel I should start, but there's too many of those, right? Anyway, guys, God bless you all. You guys are absolutely the best. Have a wonderful rest of your week. We'll see you over the weekend with another video. Don't forget, contact me, and uh, hopefully I get another few winners for the next two nippers. God bless you guys. We'll see you in the next video.